Okay, I've connected the Horus uh, to the computer. Sorry for the optics here. Um, but the issue is with calibrating and scanning an object. And so here we go. I'll open up Horus. takes a while all right now um I'll go ahead and start with the wizard mode. And it tells you to uh, does connection calibration and scanning, but there's a little issue. Brings up that, which is fine. You leave, pull that over. That's all right too. Moderate's fine. Um, Cancel that. All right, connect. All right. All right, it is an Arduino Uno, whatever, so we'll upload the firmware. I think it resets the uh, cuz I need yeah. I'm going to click save. Got plugged in but it might be the ports for my USB ports are bad <clears throat> oh yeah I can't have certain things plugged in alright connect All right. Yes, I really want to exit. All right, so I'm in the workbench, which is really where you need to be. Let's open this one up. The Logitech it says it's being used by that, which is what you want. All right. So now, if we go in here and launch Wizard, hopefully it works. See, this says. In use by Python W. You do want that. All right. Now back over. Click connect. Well, let me go out here and check the serial. Devices and printers. I may have another device on here conflicting. Okay. There it is, right there. So let's go to properties on that one. See it says 
COM 21. So I've got plenty of other devices on here. We'll go to properties of that. We'll go up to hardware. We'll go down to properties. We'll go to port settings. We'll go to advanced. And we'll change that to com. Alright, it says in use, that's fine. Click on OK. It says yes, it's being used. Alright, I may have to change the port too. Let's try this now. Do connect. There it is. See, it was just calm when it needed. Now, the problem is if I go through with this one, do the auto check. It's going to tell me it can't work, which is not going to work. Okay. And it says it can't find it, which is fine. But it did say, let's do that again. See where it says the adjustment workbench? You can set the calibrations capture setting adjustment until the pattern is detected correctly. That's the secret. So we'll then say skip. Skip. Next. Alright. Now we'll go here to the scanning work to the um, Adjustment workbench right there. See, it says adjustment workbench. It's where we want to be. Now, the problem is we need to adjust all these settings so that we see a particular pattern on this. So, uh, calibration capture, we want to change the brightness, change the contrast. right there Now, we're getting a better picture, but the problem is we need to get these little lines. Hopefully you'll see those little lines here. Okay, let me show you. You have to have those colored lines showing up for this to work. You can't calibrate unless you have those colored lines. And even then, see it's flashing in and out. See, I change this contrast. Probably need to kick it up a little bit more. Alright, so I adjusted the contrast up. Every time you move this or change your lighting on it, for at least a little bit, you have to do this. Saturation. So we can do here. And we'll scan out. And then you try to find the middle on all these. See, that looks too grainy right now. looking pretty good. 
Oop, exposure went too far. Exposure right now in the range of um, 17 looks good. All right, so now it'll actually, see that's a calibration capture. That'll actually let it calibrate. All right. Waters, please call 5701, please. Jerry Waters, 5701. Thank Scanning you. capture should probably be exactly the same thing, but hopefully it'll do it. So let's see here, we have zero, 255, 29 and 18. I'm just guessing. Zero to 40. Amanda Connolly, 5142. Amanda Connolly, 5142, please. 18. Let's see if that does. That's close enough. 17. All right. All right then. Um, so I'm going to save that profile for right now. This should work where I'm at. And I've used this before, so I'm going to say profile three. JSON. All right. So now I should be able to go back to calibration workbench. See, it's calibrating. All right, then you should be able to go up here and do the file launch wizard. And you see, I've got that little pattern right there, which is what I want. So I shall now say auto check. And see, it's picking up that pattern all the way around. Okay, it says please invert motor direction in preferences, which happened before. So, motor direction invert. Okay. It'll say save. And we'll do auto check. And so it does it the other direction. Which basically, I would rewire that motor so that when it does it, you know, I just, I would just switch the and see it scanner configured correctly okay and then we'll go next put the platter on there and press calibrate so we should now calibrate that secret is is to have that colored grid pattern on there that's what makes it work. Now it's checking the lasers, which they're off. I'll have to readjust the lasers. See that one's going off at an angle? Let me show you here. It goes off at an angle. They're supposed to be vertically up and down, so I'll have to adjust those. It'll tell me that too. Okay, so calibrate correctly. Right now, now what I need to do next. That's good. I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. Okay, and start scanning. Which you know what? I'm just gonna leave that off the way it is. Um, now the problem is is getting an object that it can actually scan. Um, and I pulled off the target. 
And that's what I'm going to scan. Something simple. Alright. And so we're going to go file. Okay, well I believe it's click play. Yeah, there it goes. Scan a little bit, maybe clear up. Camera's acting funky. There you go, that's a little clearer. Problem is also the background. I mean, there's probably no contrast. Okay, sorry. I'm turning the background, and also those lasers are off. So I'm gonna have to adjust the lasers, but let's see how it turns out. This will take a while. Gary Waters. Please call 5139, please. Jerry Waters, 5139. Thank you. See, I was getting a little extra because I did not adjust the lasers, and I kind of wanted to show you how just a little bit offset will really screw things up. You don't have your settings right. See, it's looking a little warped too. It's again because I did not bring the uh, lasers correctly. Horizontal. Vertical.
And also you'll know it's not getting the very top. And that's because that pill bottle is just about the right height to where the lasers and the camera are. In other words, it really can't even see the top. So you kind of have a height limitation on something to do. I'll do something different to scan here. But I just wanted to show you what could be done. I'm going to pause this. Okay, and this is what it says. Canyon has finished uh, save model. So we're going to save model. File. Save model. And I'm going to save it right here because i got these others. And pill. Fine. Good enough. and we'll save it and now that's what we got now if I go file and I clear model yes come up here file open model and there's the pill bottle back Right, and it'll open up one of the other models. Clear model. File open. Here's one I did before, a hot wheel. Because I had something in the background here. Of course their skins aren't great. File clear model. Now what I'm gonna do is do some changes here. First of all, <clears throat> to adjust things okay so I'm gonna go back here to uh, adjustment workbench okay that turns on the lasers if I go to scan segmentation okay now you see those I want those to be adjusted. And I'm going to adjust the angle on this one to where it's vertical. It needs to be just adjusted a hair. That one looks pretty right now. The other thing I want to do is see right down here where they hit. I don't think that matters, but I'd like to have it more out here. So the way to do that is actually to, and these are a little loose. Okay, can't really do that. As you see, I've got those off again. And I want them to be... I need to tighten this. I don't think that's the original one on the side because this is very loose, see? So I'm going to do that. See the scan lines are still there. Put the target looking pretty good. 
And then I'm going to go back in here to file launch wizard and do an auto check. Since I made changes. Okay, everything's configured correctly. Say next, or look at preferences here. That's fine. Actually, luminosity is high. Okay, let's say next, or auto check. It likes it, so I'll say next. And we'll say calibrate again, because I made changes. Those lines are showing up straighter up and down. Good. All right, so I made all the adjustments and everything else and recalibrated. Okay, as I was saying, completed. It's ready to scan. And so now what I'm gonna do is take off the target. <clears throat> and one of these spinners, minus the bearings, is going to be the new. Now as you see that creates a unique situation in that it's got those little gaps in there, but we'll see what it does. Alright. Click OK. We see it right down here. And we're going to press play. Pull it down. And as you can see, it's not really getting much of anything. So what I'm going to do is stop it. Stop. Yes. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up. <clears throat> On a little flat. On a little platform made of, by the way, those are uh, magnets. Alright, that way you can see it. There's a bottom point where it cannot read it. Alright, so I'm going to do another one. Yes, my current model is deleted. Alright, and you see there it goes. It's actually finding something. That red base shows you about the distance up. 
it can get, which is about 11 centimeters or millimeters, whatever that red base is. That red base really can't be picked up very well. So you have to bring the object up. So here we go. I'm going to pause it and we'll come back to it. All right, so scanning has finished the model. Click on OK. I mean, that's not a great model of it. Well, it could be the way it's set up, but I'm going to do some more changes here. Let's see, do it that way. Okay. I'm going to do some more changes just to show you how things can affect your, uh, your scanning and your results. So hold on. What I've done now is just change the background. Took it on computer cases black. Alright, and so because I've changed that, I really want to recalibrate it again. See, lighting has a big effect on this thing. And, well, I'll just show you. And then I get, again want to put my object in a different position. So I'm just going to come back and restart. <clears throat> Gonna come here and go to calibration workbench. As you see, everything's changed here. So instead, I want to go to actually uh, adjustment workbench. Put my target up there. All right. See, it's still showing, but. Let's see here. Calibration. And I'm going to scoot the background here. There. It helps black out more in the background. All right, then. Let's see here. Contrast. Let's bring it up. Now, right there, saturation. All right. Brightness. Too bright. Exposure. See? Uh, I can now lower my exposure. Let's see, I put it at 06 to 10. So the best thing would be probably kick it down to 8, which is halfway in between. Then we do our saturation. Doesn't seem to make an effect at all. Contrast kicks out at about sixty six and goes down to twenty About 26, 66 to 26, so I'll put it in about 46, about halfway in between. And then brightness, that seems to work until we reach about 90, and it works down to. Zero, 90 to zero. So I'll put that about 45. All right, so I got 45, 46, 79, and eight. <laughs> As you see, just changing the background does that for you. All right, and I'll zoom in and show you those values. That was based upon where that pattern blocked out or didn't. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just, just to make sure it's about the same way, 
I'm gonna go back down here. Say 45, 46, 79, 45. to say 46 hey. yes and I said 79 I don't know why I'm doing this thing I don't not too sure you have to set up this way but I would assume that they'd want to match and eight. And then you have the calibration. And I guess that's all right. And the same thing here, let's see. 32 and five, let's just change that 32 and five. Uh, refinement is SFG. Refinement is ransack. Let's make it ransack. Okay, so now we'll go up here and we'll launch wizard. Actually, I'll say profile again. Let's say I'm up to number four. So that's the profile I use. Now, hopefully, you never once you get it set you never go back and you just pull up that same profile for this situation but situation changes there's lighting and everything else so we'll just go through this again do an auto check says it configured correctly and quickly so we say next we say calibrate because we want to recalibrate it and you see changing the background makes a big difference changing the lighting maybe if sunlight shining in on it, it makes a difference so Whatever you do, go through the same process. As you can see, we can pick up the difference between black and white. So I would not be scanning a black object against a black background. I'd probably not be scanning a white object against a white background. We'll find out. Alright. Next. And it shows you, this This is what I like here, it does show you where you have uh, the bars. And it shows you that they're pretty well horizontal. This left one has a little bit of a curve to it. Alright, that looks pretty good. See? All right. So now you go next. And it says play button to start scanning. Now here's my subject. I'm going to instead rotate it, put it on something, and um, put that up there again. Put it on something, raise it up a bit. But I'm going to stand it up like this. So hold on. There's my object. I raised it up a bit, but not even focusing. Let's see here. Come on. 
There it goes. And I raised it up a bit. So let's scan it now. I think that's a better presentation of the scan. It still may not work because of those, those little curves. Little curves right there. But anyhow, here we go. Yes, do the. Same time now. See if we get started. Now the scan so far and stops. So I guess I gotta go through the process again. So, let's go here to exit. Exit. Brings this up, used by used by Python. Wizard mode. Connect. Auto check. Fit configured correctly. Next. Calibrate. That work correctly. Say next. Say next. And whop out the target with the new target. it doesn't like that object very well and that could be the issue so I'll tell you what 
stop that. Switching it for that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take the target down out back. And here we go. Yes, we're gonna delete the model. Okay. And I did get the scan models, and now all of a sudden it's stopping in the middle of it. Don't know. Just change the background. <clears throat> Try a pill bottle again. Let's do a disconnect. Reconnect. It's flashing. And it stops. This is after I got calibrated. So, start to scan. And everything's kind of locked up. So let me try my processes. Well, here's the interesting thing. I happen to have multiple copies of the process back here. I think that's the issue. one of them takes that out there is no longer any of those all right so now I'm going to start it again I guess it stays in the background when it locks up because of the recent settings file open profile Four. Connect. Play. Yeah, it plays for a bit and locks up. So I do not know what's going on, but I shall leave this and see if it ever finishes scanning. Maybe some item on it is overheating. I do not know. But that's basically the way that it works. the site but anyhow it does scan and apparently it stops after a while and but it does work and does create models models do exist so all right